Hi guys. This is your promised bi-weekly just chatting stream. I had a different idea. And then I had another idea. Because I got a list of ideas. But my other two require like hours of prep. Because <laughs> like I have a little notepad on my phone that I'll, I'll just like type little ideas into. And then I usually will like glance at it every week. I'm like, okay, I can do this one. I can do this one. But an idea that I had that I wanted to do today was reading out every single Pokemon Pokedex en entry for every Pokemon. But there's a thousand Pokemon. And different versions of Pokemon games have different text. And there's no archive that has just like the Pokemon and then one Pokedex entry. So like I'm going to have to make a thousand graphics. <laughs> So that one, maybe in a few weeks, we'll do that one. But today, we're doing it, and my fluent in Spanish, which, creo que entiendo much, a lot, mucho, mu muchas palabras, pero hay algunos que no, que hay algunos que no sé. I feel like, or I think that. I know a lot of words, but there are some that I don't know. We'll do a little intro in a bit. But how you guys doing? It is Memorial Day weekend. I don't know why the sad song is playing. I, I updated my stream playlist. So like I actually organized the order that the songs are in the playlist. <coughs> oh, VOD watchers, you're not going to hear it. Sorry. Yeah, this compilation is called Nintendo Elevator Music, but it's the saddest Animal Crossing song. I'm changing it. Yeah, this is more it. I mean, I had an Instagram reel pop off. Holy moly. 33 likes? Insane. Also, I was gonna hang out with my friend this weekend, but... Because we're gonna cook something. But it's literally been raining all day today and it rained yesterday too sad day wait sorry non-sub you can chat i forgot i forgot put your little emotes i'm sorry i'm not classist thank god i checked guys non-sub only chat you guys can type now how embarrassing but yeah it's been like pouring all day so far it's kind of a bummer Like, I went out for my walk this morning. It was fine. It was just, like, a little bit overcast. But then when I was heading home, it started pouring. <laughs> so I walk inside, drenched. My glass is all spotty. Little mow. Okay, face came on in 30 seconds. Hashtag real. Hashtag not clickbait. Also, new tweet. Go like it. That way everybody knows that I'm live. It will be a shorter stream today. Most likely. Unless, hello, good morning, good afternoon, it is 10.45 a.m. on Sunday, May 26th, Memorial Day weekend. But as I said earlier, it's freaking raining. Like, how am I supposed to get lit and get my tan soon? It's not happening this weekend. Um, yesterday, I chilled, I watched the Society of the Snow movie on Netflix. It wasn't scary. I watched it because Meat Canyon said to watch it, so I watched it. And it was, you know what? It was good, but it was very, like, unsettling. The way they framed everything was great. Um, What else did I do yesterday? Oh, my God. I was on Rainy Stream last night. <laughs> Thank you to any of my chatters who watched that stream. I know it was last minute because, like, she and I didn't plan that stream at all. Because I'll be honest, I was doing chores, and I opened Rainy Stream, and she was taking L after L. And in her chat, I was like, hey, I can coach you real quick. And then we hopped into VC, and I, like, told her little tips and tricks about Mario Kart. So, if you were in her chat, thank you for watching. I, like, I tweeted last minute, because, you know, why not? But then, I also recorded my POV on my alt channel, which, if you know, you know. No narcs. So, I still have my own footage of it, so I might edit it for, like, a... 
a separate video like not for a main channel video because like it wasn't super planned but maybe for like a i am hoping to launch the gaming youtube channel this year hopefully during summer or fall i still need a thumbnail artist so artists um submit please i'll give you uh, peace and books just kidding I'll, I'll scrounge up some money um what else yeah, because I'm, I'm working on getting videos made for that channel. I'm, I want to have, like, ten ready for launch. That way I have, like, two weeks worth. But, yeah. And then what else? No se... I don't know what else. Yeah, but once again, thank you to Rainy for having me on. It was Rainy Day Games. Algo yeah, Moss. Anything else? It is Sunday. What happens on Sunday? People pray. <laughs> oh, I remember now. Guys, new YouTube video. Click the link. Go watch it later. I forgot. It came out yesterday. It's the highlight of the Valentine's Day date stream from this year. I thought it was perfect because, you know, the bit was... Wait, should I link the bit? I feel like most of you guys watched the VOD already. The bit was, I took chat on a vacation for your Valentine's. And I was like, what better day to post the vacation video than on Memorial Day weekend? Because it's vacation time. Okay. Should we jump into it? Should we get started with the meat and potatoes of today? Also, I cannot believe May is almost over. Grr, I hate this song. Ew. Bowser's Fury L. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. You know the drill, guys? Say hi, YouTube. I don't know how long this stream will take. Also, the music is removed from the VOD, so VOD watchers take the L. Okay. Dude, I, was, I didn't write the script, but I was, like, thinking about what I'm going to say in my head. Guys, it's been, like, seven years since I've graduated high school. And look at me now, I'm a streamer. I was talking to Rainy about this the other day. And she was like, Peace, and you're my favorite streamer. And I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, genuinely. I'm like, thank you. And then I was like, I'm not a streamer, though. Because I was like, you know, I'm not successful. I'm a one viewer Andy sometimes. And she's like, but you know, if you do something, you still can claim the title. And I was like, oh, wait, true. You know what? I am a streamer. Okay, I'm just going to verify that I have the audio capturing properly, because I get anxious. Okay. Sometimes, like, when I plug in my mic, it'll, like, lower the level. It's dumb. I was like, it's looking kind of low. But it's probably because I'm talking a bit lower right now. Okay, everything should be fine. Guys, say hi, YouTube. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about, like, how we should open. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay, okay. As you guys can tell, I'm brown. I'm mixed race, I'm Asian Hispanic, so all the time growing up, I got asked if I knew how to speak Spanish, which, the answer is no. It was never spoken in my household, I didn't speak Japanese in the household either. So, in high school and junior high, I was able to take Spanish. I took four years of Spanish in high school, and I also took the AP exam my senior year. And you know what? It was my best AP exam. I scored a four, which is actually really good. That's like... Because passing is three, four is one about passing. So you know what? I slayed. So today, it's been over. Okay. It's been nearly seven years since I've graduated high school. And I've only recently started relearning Spanish. I do Duolingo every day. I'm almost at six months of doing it every day. Say thank you. I appreciate it. So today, we're going to see how actually fluent I am in Spanish. I'm a bit nervous. I know most vocab. 
that I learned in school, I've also learned a good handful of new vocab. I know most of the grammar rules still, but I don't know how well I do. I do have a few quizzes pulled aside today that will test my general overall knowledge and then also my grade level. So today we're going to see if I'm smarter than a fifth grader who speaks Spanish. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. Okay. So the tests that I pulled aside today are graded on the CEFR scale, which stands for the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. So it's what they use in the EU to grade you. So there's different levels. So there's A, B, and C. A being very beginner, B being intermediate, and then C being professional level. Now my guess, I probably know like a sixth grade to eighth grade level in terms of grammar or vocab. So I think today I'm going to score like a B. That's my goal. Are you guys ready? I'm so nervous. <laughs> I was like skimming through the quizzes this morning and there were some words that I didn't know. But you know what? I learned in school. Use content clues and make a guess on what the word means. I'm going to be doing a lot of deducing today. Like we learned in Detective Pikachu. Okay, I need to... Do, do. Also, in chat today, if we have any Spanish speakers, you can use Spanish today. But please do simple sentences. Like, I want still people at home to be able to understand. Okay. So the first test I have today is from El Patio. It was the first result that came up, and allegedly, it's a Spanish tutoring service. So they have different test levels that I can take. They have several elementary, intermediate, and then advanced. So for the advanced and superior, the B and C level tests, you have to download a PDF. And you know what? I ain't doing that. So for this one, we're going to see if I'm smarter than a Spanish fifth grader. Let's go. Level one. Elementary one. Complete the following sentences or answer the questions by choosing one option. I love multiple choice. Okay. Como te llamas me blank? Pilar. Um, what's, this is, what's your name? Como te, because it, it's como ser. Ser is the verb. So the verb change on who you're referring to. And then llamas is the you, te llamas is the you form of your name. So what's your name? And then they say me blank pilar so that's probably saying my name is so me llamo fossil this is level one <laughs> why am i explaining so much about level one <laughs> okay don't they blank too um it always trips me up how sometimes they put the like he she her you at the end of questions it genuinely confuses me sometimes but don't they the reason why they put two in parentheses is because sometimes if you have a verb, you don't need to put the object pronoun, so you don't need to put he, she, or him, he, her, or him sometimes. So it's donde vives, it's tu. Because the vive is he or she, or the, yeah, he, she, or usted. Because, okay, in, in school, I learned Spain, Spanish. We didn't learn, like, any other region. But my teacher, he studied in Portugal, so he's had a Portuguese accent. It was cool. He, it was funny. He had a little lisp, <laughs> but that's because of his accent. Okay, so it's vives. Vivo is I live. Donde, de donde eres? Soy blank. De donde eres? That means like, where are you from? De donde? And then eres is you. So this person is saying, where are you from? And they're responding to themselves. I am from blank. Okay, this one is meant to trip you. How is this, like, first grade level? This cannot be. Soy Australia. I don't think the Spanish word for Australia is Australia. Australianos is plural. You are not plural. Australiana is, like, I am Australian. Like, an adjective. They don't they blank to amigos. So, where are your amigos? They don't they? The phrase is de donde ser. Is de donde son? Because sois? Okay, I've never seen sois. I don't think that's right. Están? So, 
ser is used for adjectives and descriptions, and then estar is used for temporary descriptions. So like if you're sick or cold, you're not always sick, you're not always cold, versus um, an adjective where it's more permanent. So like if you have blonde hair or blue eyes, that's more permanent. So that's when you would use ser. Okay, number five. Blank vive usted. Uh, donde? Donde is where? Como is how? Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> Como is how? Donde is where? De donde means where you're from. So, vive means is the conjugative form of where did they live? Like, they as in formal, he or she. So, you, you don't put de donde vive because you don't say where did you live from. It, it's just donde, I think. Okay. Te presento a Marta. Presentar. Okay, I don't know what that one is. Te presento a Marta. Bueno, encantado, o hasta mañana. Presentar. Okay, it could be one of the, the words that sounds like English, like present. But that doesn't seem right. Te presento a Marta. Uh, bueno. <laughs> yes. Okay, ¿cómo se llama tu amiga? Su nombre es Carmen. Because they're saying, what is your friend's name? Female? Eres Carmen. That's saying you are Carmen, which that's not what the person is asking me. Su nombre es Carmen. Um, Their name is Carmen. It's kind of like... Because use the um, ser y amar if it's, or not ser, use the, this one and then yamar if it's their name is, or so-and-so's name is blank, but this one is saying their name is Carmen, or sorry, Carmen. They're not referencing you, they're referencing uh, tu amiga. ¿Qué haces? ¿Es enfermera? ¿Es enfermera? ¿Soy artista? O trabaja en un banco. ¿Qué haces? I think that's referring, because hacer is to do. So this is probably saying, what do you do? Like, as in work. So, es enfermera. En oh, wait, enfermera is um nurse, I think. But th they're asking me. So, soy is I am ar an artist. Trabaja en un banco is they, he or she or they are are in a bank so it's probably soy artista why am i taking so long on the level one test <laughs> okay habla espanol muy bien which is habla is can mean like you formal usted is so you formal speak spanish very well or they speak spanish very well es que de california uh it's from California. It is Professor or S. Mari Marioki. I don't know what that is. Also, I'm gonna do my best to like not look up words today. Don't worry, I don't have another tab open. S. It's from California. You're an you're a professor. S. S. Que de California. I've never seen the friend. The phrase SKD or SKS. I'm going to go with the word I don't know. Trabaja en un taller de reparación. Taller. Oh, I don't remember what taller is. Um, reparación probably means repair. So, um, as medical, medical is doctor. Al banil. I don't know what that is. No, no sé. <laughs> y mecánico is mechanic. So since it's, I assume, a place of repairing, it's probably mecánico. Blank es Rocío. Este. So este refers to people or this. And esta and esto refers to objects. You don't refer to people as objects. So out of all these, este makes the most sense. Tengo 75 años. That's I. When you say I am, however many years old, you say tengo or tener. So if I want to say I'm 25, tengo 
10 y 5 años. And if I want to say you're 25 years old, it would be tienes 15 años. So this is I am 75. 75 is 75. So 75 years old. In España, I blank. Lenguas oficiales. In Spain, there are. I is there are. Lengua is language. Oficiales is official. Dos, cuatro, o tres. Okay. No soy de España. Entonces, no lo sé. I'm not from Spain, so I don't know. Let's say three. Let's say three. Donde blank la cocina? Where blank the kitchen? S, I, esta. So S refers to adjectives that are permanent. I, I is there is. Esta. Donde esta is just a common phrase. Estar is to be. So that can be in reference to places or temporary adjectives. So donde esta is like the most common phrase. You'll probably use a tour as a tourist too. ¿Cuántos blank tiene tu casa? Habitaciones, cuarto, or dormitorios. Habitaciones is a bedroom. Cuarto is also bedroom, but it's singular because there's no S the end. And dormitorios. Dormitorios. Wait, dormitorios also means room. Habitaciones y dormitorios. They're both plural. ¿Cuántos? La... Okay, I think... I think habitación is a, a female word. I think it's la habitación. Y el dormitorio is a masculine. So we're going to look at the cuantos. Since it's ending in OS instead of AS, I'm going to go habitaciones. Oh, no. D dormitorios. Because if the word that follows cuantos is masculine, it'll end in OS. If it's feminine, it'll end in AS. So dormitorios is a masculine word. I think habitación is a feminine word like the la or el i saw this one tiktok that was explaining how you can tell who's a foreigner or not when you're in spain based on if they know their el or las like if words are feminine or masculine i still don't know because <laughs> more often than not it's memory so I, I think this one is dormitorios el cuarto de baño es cuarto de baño cuarto Oh, cuarto is room. Cuarto de baño is bathroom. Es el fondo, pequeña or amplio. It's not, okay. It's not pequeña because pequeña is an adjective and it will change to reflect masculine or feminine. So it would be pequeño or pequeña. But cuarto is masculine. See how it says el cuarto. So it's not pequeño. Amplio. I don't know what that word is. Al fondo. Al fondo. No sé. I'm going to say amplio. Al fondo. Usually, AL is used in reference to location. Like, al dentro is in the front. Um, Al fronto is like... Uh, no. <laughs> al dentro is front. Um, Afuera is outside. So, fondo is location. And usually, if it's location... It will not use ser, it will use estar, because s is a uh, adjective not related to location. So I'm going to say amplio. Dude, this is level one! Okay. El piso blank muy frío. Piso is floor. Muy frío. Estás is you are. Tiene is he or she is, or has. And then s is he or she is. El piso es muy frío. I think I use tener frío if it's referencing to a human. And ser frío if it's like an adjective. But I'm not sure. I'm leaning more towards S because I don't think you would use tener here. I'm not sure though. Mi casa está al lado del blank. So my house is close to, al lado del is close to. Oh, no, no, no. Al lado de is next to. Cerca de is close. So, my house is clo is next to the Panaderia Cine Plaza. Del 
you so it's either a lot of day or del day is if it's a feminine word you would say de la casa or de la biblioteca and use del if it's a masculine word because you combine the d and the l to make del al cine cine is masculine plaza is feminine e panaderia i assume is feminine so del cine cine is theater mi barrio es barrio bajo moderno y antiguo bajo is short moderno merno or modern y antiguo is antique barrio antiguo i don't know what barrio is i assume because we have modern and antique those are opposites so it's probably one of those i'm gonna say antiguo because moderna adjective ending in a so it's feminine word antiguo is masculine in barrio wait there's no indication it's it's saying my whatever barrio is so it's not saying el or la i'm gonna say antiguo el baño está la izquierda de la blank my bathroom is to the left of the blank so similar thing to del de la that means the blank is going to be a feminine word the dormitorio is is masculine salon salon i think is hallway and then cosa cocina is kitchen salon i think is masculine cocina is kitchen feminine okay 20 questions let's see if i'm elementary level one certified <laughs> my score is 80 <laughs> percent out of 20 questions you got 16 correct if you got more than or less than 50 percent you have not quite grasped the material in elementary one 50 to 75 not bad you would be able to start an elementary two course and more than 75 percent congratulations you should be fine starting in elementary two <laughs> okay i'm smarter than a first grader okay it does tell me the wrong answers wait it doesn't tell me what's correct though they present to a martha i don't know habla espanol muy bien this one is probably from california este es rocio wait Maybe Ro Rokio is not a person. God damn it. In España, I blank lingos. Okay, there was no way I would have known that. That was bullshit. Okay, I call all the ones that I got wrong BS. So, let's do elementary one. 16 out of 20. 80%. So, all of, I assume all the elementary questions are going to be level a1 so the lowest level let's do elementary two el restaurante blank muy cerca the restaurant blank is close is very close so esta references location also guys we are 30 minutes in the stream so if you're new here click that follow button you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat isn't that pretty cool and if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Do it now. Okay. La farmacia está abierto las blanc horas. Abierta is open. So the pharmacy is open. Las blanc horas. The pharmacy is open for blank hours, I think. 12 is 12. 24 is. Uh, wait. Wait, tengo 25. Did I say the wrong age earlier? <laughs> um, 24 is 24. 20 is 20. Those, it, it could be 12 or 24. Okay, it would make sense for a pharmacy to be open like 12 hours. I think a 24-hour pharmacy is a bit sus. Number three, blank un banco en esta calle. So blank bank on this street. Donde 
un banco. Don't, you would say donde esta. So it's not donde. I there is. Esta un banco. You, you would have to use donde esta together. So the most, like, it would make sense if it was I. Como voy a tu casa? How do I go to your house? Tomas el autobús. 14. Voy a pie de nada. Voy a pie. Pie means go by foot. Tomas el autobús. Take the bus number 14 or de nada means thank you. Or no, you're welcome. You're welcome. How do I go to your house? Well, voy a pie means I go by foot. Tomas, because you're answering the question. You go by, you take the number 14 bus. I blank bodies in este barrio. What is barrio? <laughs> I, bodies is plural. Unas means some. Algun is not plural. Muchos. Ooh, I don't know if bodies is masculine or feminine. I'm going to say masculine. So muchos, because unas is feminine ending and muchos is masculine ending. Blank, o blank ora abre el, mu el museo. Hour does the museum open. A que hora? A que hora is one of those phrases that you'll see commonly in questions. Aquella is something over there, I think. And K is what? You have to say a que hora. Piores. What time is it? Son las doce a las cinco y de la mañana. You would say it is 12. A las cinco means at five. De la mañana means in the morning. You would not respond with at five. You would say it is 12. Puedo ir blank al parque. On, andando en avión salida. Salida? Oh, I know what it is. It's on the tip of my tongue. Andando? I don't know. Either. En avión means in a plane. Puedo ir... Salida? Oh, you know what? It sounds like salud. Salud is health. I don't know what salida is. Andando. Puedo ir. Andando. Usually the ando is kind of like the present tense verb, like jumping, cooking. It'd be estoy cocinando. The ando ending. I'm going to say salida. Perdona. Hay una estación de metro cerca. Perdona means excuse me or sorry. Is there a station or a metro station close? Is there a me yeah, metro station close? Si sigues re recto. Si está recto. Si voy recto. Recto, what's recto? <laughs> um, sigues means continue. Esta is there is. I'm going. I'm going to say sigues. Recto. What's recto? I don't know. No sé. Vivo blank de la Plaza Mayor. Vivo en el centro de la Plaza Mayor. En la de la. No. Seca. En el centro makes. Could make sense too, but I think cerco or seca. I think that makes a bit eat. more sense. Ain't no way. Thank you for the resub, Mac. Can we get some wax in chat? Two whole years? Holy shit. A new Sakura badge in chat. Thank you, Mac. Wait, Mac, do you know Spanish? Thank you. I'm special? Yeah, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> okay. And thank you for the Prime sub! Mac, subscribe right now for free. I understand it from my parents because I'm used to the way they speak. Okay, okay. You should take a Spanish quiz right now. See how fluent you are. Like me. Um, let's see. No, number 11. 
¿Qué, lo, qué le pongo? Pongo, pongo es I put. Le es... Le. Ponerse? No, no, no. It's not le because it would be me. Le is like the object pronoun. Y un jamón means yes, a ham. Un bocadillo. I don't know what that is. Muchas gracias. Que lo pongo? What do I put? I'm going to say un because you don't you wouldn't say thank you to that. Y un and a ham. It's kind of like then you would have had to say something else before that. So I'm going to say un bocadillo even though I don't know what bocadillo is. Cuánto es? Cuán, cuánto is asking how much something costs. So this is saying how much does this cost or that cost. Son 12 pesos. Aquí tiene la cuenta. La cuenta is the bill. Aquí tiene means here they have it. O son 12 pesos. It's saying it is 12 pesos. So that seems to be the most sense. You're doing pretty good. I got an 80% on the level one test. <laughs> But one of the questions was bullshit. Thank you. Let's see how fluent I am. Mercero, por favor. Mercero is like a server. Mercero. So you're calling the the server. Si que desean tomar, desean, desear. Que desean tomar. Tomar is to drink. Because tomar can mean to take, but in Spain, I think it means to drink. Like Tengo said. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong phrase. Tomar, use it when you talk about, like, drinking water and stuff. Lo siento, tengo prisa. Prisa is, oh, is urgency and quickness, I think. En la leche. I don't think, that's saying, the milk! Exclamation point. E excited, the milk. Uh, si, sí, que desean tomar? I, wait, desear? Maybe... That's like, would you or choose, like, choose to drink? I think this is what you say. I hate Spain Spanish. It's so annoying. I had a friend in high school. He was going to take AP Spanish. He grew up his whole life speaking Spanish. He moved to America when he was, like, very little. But he, like, dropped out of it because he moved from Mexico. And the Spanish they teach in America is Spain Spanish. So it's totally different. You know, Spain just likes to feel special. Wait, we can't be too mean. We have a few Spain viewers from Spain, so they're going to watch this later and be offended. We can't talk too much shit. I do think it's, like, kind of rude how they don't teach, like, um, South American and, like, North American Spanish in the States. Like, it would make so much sense. But I think we know why. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure they understand. Imagine they start a hate thread. Okay, me blank la música. Uh, gustan, gusta, gusto. Gusto is past tense, I like. Gusta is singular, and gustan is plural. So la música is singular, so gusta. Me gusta la música. Blank jugar al tenis que correr. To play tennis. Tennis que correr. Tennis que correr. Usually you'll have like, because K means then. Usually you'll have like mas o menos before K. But since there's no like word describing between the K, I think that means like they're equal. So, me gusta jugar al tenis. Prefiero jugar al tenis. Nos gustan. Nos gustan means we like. But this is singular because it's verb. Or a singular verb. Prefiero jugar. Prefiero is I prefer. Oh, wait, it could be for prefiero because I prefer to play tennis than running because Korea is to run. Yeah, I think it's prefiero because if you said I like to play tennis than running, that makes no sense. You'd have to have a muscle mena, so I think it's prefiero. I wish my parents saw me Spanish. I know. I, I understand why some people who immigrate or speak a second language avoid 
teaching their kids and stuff because like they don't want their children to face prejudice but you know learning a second language okay this is anecdotal but i think there were some studies that like proved that like if you know a second language like you're better at critically thinking you're better at like just learning because it works different parts of your brains i never spoke any foreign language at home because my mom her mom didn't want to teach her japanese so i just didn't know Blank Mary le gusta estudiar español. Blank Mary likes to study Spanish. Oh, you would say a ah, Mary because whenever you have gustar, you can either, or ideally you should put a ah, whoever you're referring to and then blank likes because sometimes if you put like um, el le gusta, you're not, you don't know who el is, so you have to say a ah, el le gusta. So this one, they're referring to Mary, so you have to say a ah, Mary le gusta. No me gusta blank el nuevo restaurante. Comer is to eat. Nada means nothing. Poco is little. No me gusta comer. You'd have to say no me gusta comer en. Because that's a place. Nada means nothing. Poco means little. No me gusta poco. I think poco. The, or Because it's an adjective meaning little. I think it does change for O or A. For masculine or feminine words. So nada. It means nothing. No me gusta nada because that's a, it's a, you have to have like a, you have to have all words be negative if it's a negative statement. So no me gusta nada because nada is a negative word. It, it's weird. Like a lot of like American slang will say like, oh, I don't know nothing. But it'll, like the way you say it in Spanish, you have to say like, no. Or when you say, I don't know anything. Because anything is like a positive word. If you say that in Spanish, you'd have to say, uh, you'd have to say no se nada. Like you can't say no se poco because you can't say you know something if it's a negative word. It's weird. It has to match. It always trips me up because like, obviously in American slang. Okay. Los fines de semana blank la capa. Uh, wait. <laughs> Dude, I hate speaking out loud. My stutter makes it so worse. I used to be so good at speaking Spanish. Like everybody thought I was fluent. Because, like, obviously I'm brown. Like, everybody in my class would be like, oh, don't you know this already? I'm like, no. No. Uh, Los fines de semana blank la compra. Or compra. Um, on the weekends, fines de semana means the end of the week. La compra means shopping. So, hago is I do. Me gusta, I like. Puedo la, la compra. Hago? Is it hago? Usually the phrase is hacer la compra o... Ear or ear to go shopping. Ear la comp compra. Um, Azul, thank you, Mac. <laughs> you don't say I like. If if you said on the weekends I like to go shopping, you'd have to say me gusta ir de compra or hacer la compra. So you'd have to have a second verb if you wanted to do gustar. Puedo is on the weekends, I can the shopping. So when you have the ending phrase, la, comp la compra, you have to have the verb that goes before it. So it is algo. On the weekends, I do the shopping. 19. Blank venir esta tarde a mi casa. Venir is to come. Esta tarde is after this afternoon to my house. Can blank come to my house this afternoon? Puedo venir esta tarde en mi casa. Can I go to my house this afternoon? Silly. Of course, it's your house. ¿Quieres? No. ¿Quieres? ¿Quieres? Okay, I've never seen that conjugation. How is this second grade level? This is so stupid. Duolingo doesn't teach me shit. ¿Quieres? I've never seen that ending. ¿Quieres? Or podemos. Podemos is can we... Podemos is we. Puedo is I. I don't think you'd ask to go to your own house. So I'm just going to guess and say, get es. Te puedo ayudar. This is I can help. And then te means to you. So can I help you? So if you want to say, can I help them? It would be 
uh, le puedo ayudar? Or les puedo ayudar? This would be le for singular them and then les for plural them. Can I help you? No quiero is I don't want. No puedes is you cannot. Or si gracias. Yes, thank you. Can I help you? I don't want. I think those two simple response like that could work. But you would probably just say like no thank you instead. Or no quiero ayuda. I think would make more sense. So I think si gracias is the best answer. Yo! Your score's a 90! Yes! I'm smarter than a second grader. 18 correct. Let's go! Okay, let's see what I got wrong. La farmacia está abierto las... Okay, this one was stupid. The pharmacy was open 12, 24, or 20 hours. Okay, it could have been 12 or 24. That's actually so dumb I got that wrong. Um, Puedo ir blank o porque. Andando? Is it really andando? What is andando? I'm not looking anything up, so chat, you know words that I don't know. You can tell me. Andando? It, it would not be in avion, because that would be to the in a plane. And that's dumb. Andando? Wait, what? andar is a verb. I know I learned that in the past, but I no lo sé. Okay, elementary level two, I scored a 90%. That's pretty good. I'm officially smarter than a second grader. Dude, this quiz is taking freaking forever. <laughs> okay, elementary level three. Okay, the tests are getting harder, like genuinely. Even though I scored higher in the level two, it is getting more difficult. I'm scared. Okay, ¿qué tal is... What's up? ¿Qué tal eres? ¿Qué tal estás? Sois. Eres? Is it really eres? What's up? Sois? I don't know what sois. All I know is soy sauce. Superior is going to be wild. I'm not taking the advanced or superior today because I need PDFs and I looked at them and it's literally like like an English state exam. I'm not doing it. <laughs> like it's like free response and shit. Which, okay, no narcs, but a stream that I was going to do today, but I want to do it in the future later, like, like actually do it better is retaking all of my AP exams seven years later. Don't you think that'd go crazy? Because on the actual AP website, they post all the previous test questions. So like, I can go back and find the AP exam tests from 2017, so I can take them again. I think that would be a fire stream. Like we could do it for a week. We can do, I mean, it's kind of like, this would be the perfect time to do it because like everybody's taking their exams now anyway. But I just didn't, it didn't click. Like, I can study for, like, two streams and just do, like, a crash course of the entire senior curriculum. And then do, like, a six-hour stream where I take all four of my AP exams again. I think that would be a sick stream. But we'll, we'll save that for a rainy day. Because first, today's stream was supposed to be retaking my Spanish AP exam. And then I found out that I can, like access all the other AP exams and I was like shit I'll just do them all because literally when I took my AP exams in high school I had to take two in one day and then another single day and then the last one another single day but I took two AP exams in one day because I think it would take like three to four hours per I think so during testing days they would host like three a day okay anyway I'll save that stream for a rainy day but I think that would be a fun idea. But but taking it seven years later seems like a, a weird year. Like, it would only make sense like five or ten years later, which we're kind of past that point. And let's be honest, am I really going to streaming for another three years? I don't know, I'm only 25, we'll see. Uh, Número dos, ¿cómo es tu pareja? Pareja... I uh, no sé qué pareja means. <laughs> um, pare parece auto y moreno. Pare me parece means 
I think, or I believe that. So this one is saying, I believe that, or I think that it's tall and modern. Es alto y moderna. It is tall and modern, or está alto y moderna. Okay, well, it's parece, para ser que, I think the phrase is, is kind of like, yo creo que, or me pienso que. You have to say, because the que means that. So if it was parece, you'd have to have a que. You'd have to say, I think that it's tall and modern. But this is just saying, I think tall and modern. You need the transition word. So I think it's, es alta y morena. Oh yeah, pareja is a, I assume a feminine word. So it, it would have to be es, because esta is a temporary adjective. Es is permanent adjective. So it's tall and modern. That is a permanent adjective. So it's es. Jorge tiene el pelo blank. Jorge has hair blank. Liso, larga, o rubia. Larga is long. Rubia is blonde. Y liso, I don't know what liso is, but rubio y rubia, or largo y rubia are masculine or feminine changing adjectives, and pelo is masculine. So I think it's liso. I don't know what liso is, but it's the only matching ending vowel. For masculine and feminine words. ¿A qué hora te levantas? What time do you wake up? Because levantarse is to wake oneself up, like in the morning, like out of bed. So te is to, y as is a u ending. So what time do you wake up? Me levanto a las ocho, te levantas a las ocho, o me levanto a las ocho. Um, so this is asking what time do you wake up? So the person is responding, I wake up at eight. So, me levanta is not the correct ending for uh, somebody saying me. If it's a I wake up, usually it ends with O. Like, yo hago, uh, oh, como se dice dishes? Oh, yo hago los platos? Or, I do the dishes? No, you would say, yo lavo los platos. I wash the dishes. You don't say, I do the dishes. That's not the right verb. Anyway, so levanta, A is the wrong ending. Te levantas, that's saying you wake up at 8, even though they're asking me. So, me levanto a las 8, I wake up, always the correct ending. Okay, keep in mind, if I was doing this in my head, I would be sue writing, but like I'm trying to vocalize when I'm learning because this this does actually help me. Sometimes I do print off worksheets like this <laughs> as of recent just so I can like actually have questions that push me a little bit. Because doing like that is fun, but a lot of it is just refreshing simple vocab. And like simple sentence structure, but I really like this because they're trying to check me and it's nice. Que haces los domingos? Okay, so EIS is an ending. I have not seen this conjugation like at all. Que haces los domingos? What I assume because it's probably I said, what do you do? Domingo is Sunday. Wait, today's Sunday. Limpio la casa. Salimos con los niños o lim limpias la casa. See, it's the, it's the conjugation ending. I limpio lim limpiada is clean. So I clean the house. I leave with the kids or I clean the house. So since this has the e i s ending, this has the a i s ending. I'm gonna do the Wait, is this C? Wait, 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 wait. Um, there's a conjugation that refers to I used to do blank. So an adjective or an action that you used to do all the time. So like yo, yo vivia in Hawaii. I used to live in Hawaii. Or yo curia todos los días. I used to run every day. So is aces? Is that? No, that can't be. Yo... Because limpias is, I used to clean the house. Is ase is really the conjugation for, or hacer and used to? It's, it's not así, no? I did, oh, I wasn't, it could be, I used, I think it's limpias la casa. When I stream, I'm going to steal your idea. No! No, I don't care. I, I don't care if people steal ideas because my opinion is, 
There's no such thing as an original idea anymore. It all depends on who can execute said idea the better. I, that's why I don't like, I don't mind when people copy. I know it's like really controversial online, like YouTube and shit or TikTok, but it's like, bitch, if you did it shitty, then let somebody else do it better. Cancel me. I'll credit you. Thank you. No, but like legit, I don't see anybody who's retaking their AP exams like for content. So I think, I think it's a banger idea. I don't know. What song is this? Is this We Party? Yeah, it is We Party. See, I know my shit. Okay. <clears throat> Next. A hora cena usted? Cenar is to have dinner. So what time do you, formal, have dinner? Cena a las siete, comes tarde, o cena a las siete, or a las siete. So cena a las siete, dinner is at seven. Or no, 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 it could be like I have dinner, but the A conjugation. Comes tarde, that means you eat late. Cena a las siete, I have dinner at seven. Because it's asking me, usted is you formal, so it'd be, you would respond with I eat at seven. Cuando sales del trabajo? What time do you leave from work? Del trabajo is work. Salir is to leave. Salimos a las cinco. Salgo a las cinco. O salen a las cinco. Salgo is the present form of I leave. Salimos is we leave. Or salen is plural. Salís? Salis. Salir? See, I don't know what the I conjugation is. Because it, it's. Because salir is. The conjugations end in es. So it's. Salgo, sales, sale. And then salen. So why is it using that apostrophe is ending? I think the answer is salen, because salis, I think, is a plural conjugation. I'm not sure, though. Blank haces los jueves. Hacer is to do, so haces is the U form, so you do los jueves. Okay. Wait, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Jueves is Thursday. I still have to, like, say... Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves y viernes, sábado, domingo. I have to like do the little songs in my head still to remember numbers and days. Jueves is Thursdays, so you do Thursdays. ¿Qué haces? ¿A qué is referencing to time, like a qué hora? ¿Cuándo is when? ¿Y qué is what? When do you do? Yeah, it's qué. What do you do on Thursdays? Yo tengo tres blank. Madres, mujeres, o cuñadas. Madres is mothers. Mujeres is women. Yo! Y cuñadas is, I don't know, cuñada? Yo tengo tres. You could say you have three women, like you could. You could have three mothers. But cuñada? ¿Qué es cuñada? Uh, let's say cuñada because I don't know what it is. You know what I do know for sure, though? That is time to run some freaking ads, because you know what? We are an hour into stream, so it's time for you to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing on the Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you get a Prime sub available. And if you're generous enough, you can give some subs to make my day. Smile. Also, guys, I fell off. I have 20 subs now. <gasps> I got ratioed. Oh, it, it's only because, like, I got a lot of gifted on my birthday. And since it's the 26th, it's been a month. You know what's funny? I have my stress bowl. It's already starting to tear in some parts. You probably can't see it on camera. It's not going to live for long. Ooh, also, if I stream tomorrow, I don't know what I want to do. Because we can either do Peace Lock or um, Beating Lucia again. 
And I did watch some videos, and I think I have a chance. I kind of know a little bit of, of tricks with Lucia, but we'll see. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. El marido de tu hija es tu... Marido is married person. De tu hija. Hija is daughter. So, the married person of your daughter is your... Yerno... Suegro or nieto. Nieto is grand, no, yeah, I think it's grandchild. Suegro or yerno. I don't know what the other two are. El marido. Yeah, so the, so the married person of your daughter is your yerno or suegro. It's one of those two. Um, Coin flipped. I'm choosing the Y word because I love yes. Say yes to the dress. Cuando te casas? Casar? Oh, wait, casar. Casar say? Oh, wait, ca casar is uh, to get married. Yeah, casar say is to get married. When did you get married? Yes! Okay. Um, estoy mejor soltera. Soltera? Dude, how is this level three? This is third grade shit. Tengo novia. Is I have a girlfriend, Slay. Or mañana es sabro. Tomorrow is Saturday. Estoy mejor soltera. I think this is asking when when will you get married? And then you say, I have a girlfriend. Which I wish I could say, but it's not real. I'm gonna say I have a girlfriend and if they ask me if I get married. ¿Dónde comes todos los días? Where do you eat every day? Seno en casa, en un restaurante o un banco de I have dinner in my house. Yeah, I have dinner at home. That makes sense. Which is true. I have dinner at home most every day. Como blank estos pantalones? How blank are those pants? Pantalones. Really fun word to say. Me quedan, te queda, quedan. Wait, Kedar says to stay. Kedar? Uh. No, I've only, I've only learned Kedar says to stay. Not as, like, any other, like, to wear clothing. I know there's so many different words to, like, put on clothes. It's ponerse, vestirse, y there's one more. But th there's so many different ways to, like, put on, like, verbs to say put on clothes or to wear. Como te queda. It can't be te queda because that's the wrong conjugation. Me quedan. Como quedan? Quedarse or is it quedar? Because if it was quedarse, the se would become me at the beginning. If it was just quedar, it would just be quedan. Because the on matches estos pantalones, which is a plural. Como quedan? Estos pantalones. Me quedan? I don't know. I, I don't, I've never seen quedarse used for clothes. I'm gonna say get on. Me puedo probar. No, me puedo probar. <laughs> me puedo probar blank camisa. Probar is to put on or to try. So camisa is shirt. Este está esas. So este, this is talking about this shirt. So este is masculine. Esta is feminine. Esas is feminine like those. Because este or esta is this. Ese, esa is that. So, esta is the only matching feminine ending besides esas, but esas is plural. ¿Cuánto blank estos pijamas? Pijamas. Is it pijamas or pijamas? Um, no, <laughs> I don't wear pajamas. Okay. ¿Cuánto? Oh, ¿cuánto is how many? Like, how much did it cost? ¿Cuánto? Estos pijamas is plural, so it's cuestan. Cuesta is singular, cuesto is singular, masculine, feminine, so it's cuestan. Las blusas de seda son blusas is blouse, which I'm wearing a blouse today. De seda, I don't know what seda is. Son caras, cara, or caros. So caro or cara is expensive. Barata or barato is cheap. The way I remember it is barato, B for brokey, 
And then cara or caro is car, which is expensive. Um, blusas is feminine and it's also plural because it's las. So it'd be caras. Feminine and plural. Me gustan los guantes. Guantes is boots, I think. I like boots. What? Is it really boots? No, no, no. Wait, no. Guantes is gloves. I think it's gloves. Because boots is botas. Guantes, I think, is gloves. Um, I like gloves. Cuadros de cuero or de pana. I don't know what. Cuadro, cuadro de cuero. Okay, my guess is cuero means leather. I don't know the other words. ¿Cuánto cuestan estas blank de rayas? Raya. There's so many words that I don't know. Uh, how much does these blank cost of whatever? Guantes, pijamas, or corbata? Corbata is tight. Guantes is gloves, pijamas is pajamas. Estas. Oh, so this is a huge hint. Estas is feminine plural. Guantes is masculine. We're learning from los guantes. Pijamas is masculine because estos pijamas. So we're corbatas. That's the only feminine word we have here. Blank el precio de esta blusa. The price of this blouse. Prefiere cuesta sabe. Cuesta el precio. How much does the cost cost? That makes no sense. Prefiere, do you prefer? Or does he or she prefer usted? Or sabe? You wouldn't say, do you prefer the price of the blouse? You would say, um, no, I want it on sale. You'd have to say sabe. Because, like, do you know saber? Is to know. So sabe is, like, probably asking somebody usted. So sabe el precio de esta blusa. Yeah. Los zapatos son blank de piel. Uh, zapato is shoe. De piel. Pie is foot. So I assume it's of the feet. Lamau. <laughs> I didn't like anything. Don't worry. It's incognito. Okay, los zapatos los. Están, gustan, or prefiero. Los están. Los zapatos los. You would use los as like it, like an object pronoun, I think it's called. Los prefiero de... It, you, it would be a star, because a star is where. Gustan, you would have to say les or los or mete. I think it's prefiero. Shoes, I prefer them of piel. I don't know what piel is. Let's see. No! <laughs> Your score is a 70. Ah! You answered 14 out of 20, correct? 70 means not bad. Guys, I'm as smart as a third grader for right now. That's not bad. It's a 70. It's passing. Isn't it wild how in some states they're like literally lowering the letter grade value? I wish they did that for me. Como te queda? Is it really te queda? No, it's probably me queda. I didn't know this one. I didn't know this one. Hi, Natty. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Welcome in. Donde com donde comos todos los días? What? Say no en casa. I wait. No, that makes sense. I have dinner at home. In a restaurante, you can also see in a restaurant, but okay, twelve is bullshit. That I eat dinner at home, that makes sense. Cuando te quesas? When do you, when are you getting married? And tengo novia. Oh no no no! Tomorrow is set. Estoy mejor soltera. Oh wait, soltero means single. So that one saying estoy mejor soltera is I'm better single. Fuck. Why did I not use my deducing skills and guess that meant single? Cuando saliste en trabajo, salen a las cinco. Or maybe IS is like the U ending of salir. So I guess solid go would have been correct. ¿Qué haces los domingos? Okay, so I guess that's not the conjugation form I was thinking. It's probably like, what's the EIS ending? So that one's probably limpio en casa. I probably just didn't learn this conjugation yet. Que tal? 
Okay, this one's... I wish you would tell me the correct answer. I still don't know what this one is. Get doll? Huh? Okay, that was elementary level three. Let's try elementary level four. Dang. Now, am I smarter than a fourth grader who knows Spanish? Quieres tomar blank café? Tomar is to drink in this context. So, do you want to drink blank coffee? Un, uno, el. It's un. You would use uno if it's um referring to... Like, if you're referring to an item but not saying what the item is. Un means a. When you see el or la, that means the. So, it's asking, do you want a coffee, not instead of the coffee? Quieres blank a casa o comer? Quieres? What is this conjugation? I don't know. Okay. Vienen, vaes, or venir. This one is a conjugated verb. So usually if you see a conjugated verb, it follows by a non-conjugated verb. So venir is to come. Vaes is, I don't know. Y vienen is they come. So it's probably to come. Blank mañana a las diez. Tomorrow at 10. Queramos, estamos, vemos. Queramos. What does querar without the se mean? Queramos. I don't know. All I know is stay. Estamos means we are. Vemos means we go. I think tomorrow, vemos, we go. Tomorrow at 10. Nos vemos esta tarde. Do, do we go this afternoon? Voy al cine. Veo la te televisión. O lo siento, no puedo. We go this afternoon. Voy al cine. Veo la tele. Nos vemos? Does that mean let's go? I, I think nos vemos means let's go. Like, no, 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 vamos means let's go. Nos vemos. Oh, no, 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 no. Ve, ver is to see. Nos vemos. Oh, wait, no, I think nos vemos is I'll see you. Voy al cine, veo la tele. I think it's, I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, I think this is asking, will we see each other? Yeah, nos vemos means see each other. Yeah, see. will we see each other this afternoon? I'm going to the theater, I'm going to watch television, or no, I can't. I think it's no, I can't. Blank, no vamos al cine esta noche. We do not go to the theater the, tonight. Or por qué? That's totally wrong. Porque together doesn't have the accent. Porque has the accent. Porque, yeah. Because porque means why. Y porque together means um because. Oh, wait. Maybe porque does have, or together does have an accent. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Que estas blank? What are you haciendo hacer hecho? Okay, so this is the present verb so like i am running i am washing i am singing versus i sing i walk i run so haciendo the yendo ando because you go estar y conjugated verb so que estas haciendo what are you doing eva blank en el parque está saliendo está jugando or está bañándose bañándose bañar bañar ah is that using the bathroom Saliendo is they're leaving. Está jugando, they're playing. I assume bañarse is to use the restroom. So she is leaving in the park. She is playing in the park. E she's using the bathroom in the park. Hey yo, let's do playing in the park. What grade is this? I think this is elementary level four. So I assume fourth grade. ¿Qué están haciendo? What are you doing? Estoy estudiando, están trabajando, o estáis desayunando. It, I am studying, they are working, or estáis? I, I don't remember this conjugation at all! 
his thighs. And this thing you not is um to have breakfast. So something is having breakfast. Que están? Están is what are they or you plural formal in Spain. So I would say están trabando. Blank is to signal the zodiaco. Okay, I, I I don't know these words, but I assume it means zodiac symbol. Okay, cuando cual. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Cuando is when, que is what, y cual is which. It, okay. Cual or que is hard to determine because usually you say cual if there's like a number of things you can choose from within a category. Like, cual es tu color favorito, which is which is your favorite color. You could say what is your favorite color, but since there's like a set list of colors you can choose from, it makes more sense to say cual. Or when you ask, um, I'm trying to think. ¿Qué hiciste este fin de semana? What did you do this weekend? There's not like a set list of things you do in the weekend, so it makes more sense to say que instead of qual. So, since there's only... Wait, how many zodiac signs are there? Are there 12? Please tell me there's 12. <laughs> since there's like a set number of things you can choose from concerning zodiac signs, I'm going to say qual. If I'm wrong, then cancel me. ¿Conoces a mi hermana? Conocer is to know. So, conocer a mi hermana, do you know my sister? No, no la conozco. No, no la conoce. Or si sí, la conoces. They're asking, do you know my sister? So, conozco is the I conjugation of conocer. Because you're saying, no, I don't know her. La is referencing her. Y no la conoce. That's the he or she knows. Y conoces is you know. So it would be no, no la conozco. Um, ¿Qué vas a hacer esta tarde? What are you going to do this afternoon? Voy a acostarme pronto. Voy saliendo. Vas al cine. So it's asking what are you going to do. So you respond with I. Voy a acostarme. Acostar. I know it. Acostar is... I think that means to wake up, because pronto means soon. I think acostarme is to wake up or get up. Y saliendo is I am leaving. Y vas al cine is you're going to the theater. So, what are you going to do this afternoon? I'm leaving. You're going to the theater. I think it's I'm going to wake up soon. Cuando vais a do this conjugation? Screw you. Vice, uh, when are you going to casarnos? Nos casamos a casaros. Casarnos is we get married. Nos casamos is wait. <laughs> oh, wait, that's conjugated. We get married because oh, wait, yeah, because this is casarnos, so they're adding nos to the casar. Um, with any verb. That's non conjugated but has the say ending to it, you have to match the say to who you're referring to. So, um, como, I need a verb that has say in it. Oh, okay. So, sentirse is to feel. So, you can say, no te vas a sentirse bien or sentirte bien. You are not going to feel well. You cannot just say you are not, or you cannot just say no te vas. Wait, no, I don't. I, okay, it's hard to explain, but I know what I'm doing. It's uh, casarnos because vaes a is the conjugative verb, so it has to be casarnos because casar is not conjugated, but they're adding the nos to the end because casarse is the actual unconjugated verb. Um. Está Pedro en casa. Is Pedro at home? De parte de quién? ¿Quieres dejarle un recado o dígame? Dígame means tell me. De parte de quién? Part of who? Q 
¿Quieres dejarle un recado? What? Dejarle. I don't know what dejar is, but le is like he or she, direct or indirect object pronoun. Un recado. No sé qué recado es. <laughs> ¿De parte de quién? We're going to say the one I don't know. Dígame. Oh, no, no, no. Dígame is not to tell me. Diga. Diga? Diga. It would be dígame. Not dígame. Or dígame. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna guess. Vamos a blank. Hace mucho calor. We are going to blank. Hacer calor is... Hace calor is... Like to be ha have heat like outside like the weather. Vamos a bañarse. Bañamos a bañar. Bañar. Oh wait, you. I think bañarse is to shower. So bañarse, bañarnos, o bañar. I think it's bañarnos because vamos is already conjugated. Y nos matches the vamos because it means we. Has visto hoy a María. Has visto. Has visto? Have you seen Maria today? I think it's saying. Si la he visto, si le he visto, or no la vi. Eh? <laughs> What's he visto? Okay, that that's a that's a verb phrase that I don't know. Maria is le, because la is an indirect object pronoun of a thing, not a person. Le is like uh, he or she. No la vi. Yeah, oh, la is a thing. Maria is not a thing, so it's the second option. Si le he visto. Uh, ¿Dónde has estado? ¿Estado? Oh, no. I don't know these verbs yet. ¿Dónde has estado? Los Estados Unidos, surely. Es muy tarde. He estado de compras o he venido a los cinco. Okay, I don't know this at all. I don't know what it's, the initial question is asking. ¿Dónde has estado? Where have they been? We're going to say he's shopping. Te compras is to shopping or shopping. Que blank este verano? What blank? This verano is spring. No, 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 no. Verano? Summer? No. Primavera is spring. Vierno. Oh, vierno is summer. In vierno is winter. Verano? Is verano? Games verano. What is what is fall? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice fall? The season. Is it really verano? Este verano. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves y viernes, sábado. It's not a day. Verano. I think verano is fall. ¿Qué he viado, has trabado, o has hecho? I don't know these conjugations. We're going to say as trabado for a guess. Always guess B. Han estado blank in Marruecos. It's another estado question. I don't know what this conjugation is. Uh, nunca is never. Alguna vez is sometime. Right. Yeah, sometime. Y una vez is one time. Can I give you a hint? Yes, please! <laughs> please! <laughs> um, has estado una vez? I think that makes the most sense. A time. Alguna vez? I don't, I've never seen alguna next to vez. Because vez means time. Because if you want to say sometimes, it would be a veces. Una vez. Alguna vez. I don't think you'd say alguna vez, but don't seem right. 
Uh, what do you want to hint? Esta both, please. <laughs> I think verano is. Este verano. I don't. I know what it is. It's on the tip of my tongue for verano, but I have no idea what estado is. I don't know what that verb conjugation is. Verano is this, you know. It is fall. It is fall. Is it fall? Yeah, because it's primavera is spring. Vierno is summer. In Vierno, winter. Verano is fall. I didn't say which season, but it's one of the four. It has to be fall. It's fall. It's fall. Okay, tell me what a stato is, please. That's the one I need help with. But I, I won't go back and change my answer for, like, transparency's sake. Blank he hecho la compra. See, it's another... Con I don't know this conjugation. I don't know. Hecho, he hecho. I think... If I would have taken five years of Spanish, I would have learned this. I didn't learn this at all. Because I remember my Spanish teacher teased this at the very end of the year. And they said, you guys won't learn this, but I'll teach you. And then I just didn't write it down. He hecho la compra. To do the shopping. Todavía alguna vez ya. Oh, ya means I already. Is it past tense? Hecho, he hecho. Because it can mean I already did the shopping. Alguna vez, one time I did the shopping. Todavía. Todavía is all my life. He hecho. I'm going to say todavía, all my life, I did the shopping. Desde, it's a masculine noun, estado. It's a noun? Okay, so it's vocab I don't know. Shit. Okay, you, you don't got to tell me. I'll look it up later. But that, that is a huge hint. Because I, as estado, I thought... It was an adjective, not a noun. That's a huge help. Okay. Estado? Is it state? No. Because I'm just thinking Estados Unidos. Uh, desde la verana se ve el... Desde. From la ventana. Van ventana is window. Se ve el... Se ve means, I think, I think it means to see. Thank you, Mac. I appreciate it. Se ve el paese, montaña o cumbre. Paese, I don't know what paese o cumbre is, but montaña is feminine. And el is indicating a masculine word. So el cumbre or el paese. Or by say that sounds like a feminine word. I'm gonna say cumbre. Let's see. <laughs> God damn it. Um, your score is a sixty percent. I got twelve correct. Oh no. So that means I am doing not too bad still. Elementary level four. I got twelve out of twenty. Sixty percent. Man, it's all downhill. Okay, let's skim. Blank, mañana a las diez. Queramos? Is it queramos? I think that one's queramos. Cuando ves a... Okay. These are all stupid. I don't know half of these. No la vi? La he visto? What? I thought... Because they're referencing Maria. It wouldn't be la, it would be le. This is so stupid! <laughs> Eh, que este verano? Oh, this is the e hecho or the I don't I don't know the e. I don't know the conjugation. Una vez han estado. Is it really alguna vez? I thought I, I thought you didn't use alguna before vez. I don't know. Todavía. Yeah, the last ones I guessed, so it makes sense. Whatever, I don't care. Okay, lower intermediate. Level A2 on the CEFR scale. Now it's going to get more difficult. You know what else is difficult? Typing in the chat if you're not following. Because you know what? We are another 30 minutes in to stream. So if you never click that follow button, turn that heart purple. It's free and you get emotes. Isn't that crazy? 
And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on that we don't miss a single stream. It's state or status, so you did guess it right earlier. Okay, it's data? Really? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I was on the right track. Thank you, Mac. Dang, it's so hard. Okay, lower intermediate, A2. We're now out of elementary, we're in middle school. Normalmente voy al trabajo blank bicicleta. Um, normally, I go to work blank bicycle. Por is by or through. En means on a bicicleta. A means to, like I'm going to a store. En means like on. I think it's poor because you, you would say poor means by or through. Like through a woods or by car. Like yo voy a trabajo por coche means I go to work. By car. So I think it's por. Hablas por teléfono a menudo? Do you speak on telephone or by telephone? A menudo means often. Uh, frequentemente te llamo. Frequently, I call you. Varias veces al día, various times of the day. Nunca me llaman por teléfono. I, they never call me by telephone. So this is asking, do you talk on telephone often? Yeah, various times of the day. Este fin de semana voy al cine. This weekend I'm going to the theater. Why are these like, so much easier than the previous section? I think it's because this one is more focusing on like context clues and actually answering a question than like grammar. So this weekend I'm go I go to the theater. Tomas un con Tomas un café antes. You drink a coffee before. Quieres venir? Do you want to come? Or pues que buen. Pues, I think is, pues. It's one of those phrases like, oh, cool. Or then. Que buen is like, how good. This weekend, I go to the theater. You drink a cafe before. You want to come. Pues que buen. I think you're saying, oh, that's great. ¿Qué planes tienes para el año que viene? What plans do you have for the year you come? Voy a estudiar español. I study Spanish. Or I'm going to study Spanish. Vas a salir de vacaciones. You are going to leave from vacation. Van al playa. They go to the beach. Voy a estudiar español. Because that's the only I conjugation there is. Para hablar bien una lengua, blank. To speak a language well, you need to, or blank. Tenemos que comprar lencería. We have to buy, I don't know what lencería is. Hay que practicar mucho. Hay que is, it is important to, or one must. So one must practice a lot. O tienen que ir de vacaciones en verano. They have to go to vacation in summer. No, in fall. Wait, is, is, wait, is verano summer or fall? I don't remember. No, it's fall. It's, if I'm wrong, um, in order to be good at a language, you have, one must practical, practice a lot. Blank, preparan muchos ejercicios para clase. Blank, prepare. Well, this is prepare, but not conjugated. That's a huge tale. A lot of exercises for class. Tengo que means I have to. Va para. She or he goes for. Esta de. This is from. So, tengo que. Preparar. Whenever you use tener que, the verb after que is unconjugated. So, tene, tengo que. I have to prepare a lot of exercises for class. Que lo pongo or que le pongo. Poner is to put. Where did you put her? Or put it? You can have phone or chatter once a test. Okay, cool. Oh, wait. Can you tell me at least what verano is? Is it fall or summer? I think it's fall. I at least need to know that. It's come up twice in the quizzes. Ponte en goro. Goro? Is it really summer? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. So... 
Vierno is fall and in Vierno is winter? No. Yeah. So stupid. Uh, quería un kilo de aguacates? Or they wanted a kilogram of something. Y póngame el primero. Póngame. I put it first. I'm guessing the third one. I don't know two of the words in the answer, so that's kind of a killer. Oiga, por favor. Or oiga. Oiga, por favor. Oiga. Oir means to listen or to hear. Oiga, I think is listen, please. El café con leche está mejor. The coffee with milk is better. Me trae un poco más de pan. Can you bring me a little more bread? ¿Qué quieren de postre? What do they want? Or what what postre, what dessert do they want? Oiga, oiga, what's oiga? ¿Qué, qué es oiga? Por favor, oiga. Oiga is not conjugated oir. It's probably just a phrase word that I don't know. These are all like related to serving in restaurants. I want to say, bring me more bread, please, because bread is delicious. Normalmente suelo desayunar blank. Normally suelo. Tengo suelo. No. Suelo. No sé qué suelo es. Desayunar is to have breakfast. Un cajaro. Un carajo. I don't know what that means. Un café con leche y chorros. A coffee with milk and churros. O un bocadillo de chorizo. I don't know what bocadillo is. For breakfast, I normally have coffee and churros. Chorizo is like breakfast sausage, though, or just sausage. I'm going to say the chorizo. I had a project on a Spanish restaurant in middle school. We had to make a menu. Ooh. They should have had you cook the food too. Oh. oh my god. I slept really well today. That was a huge yawn. Also, Max, since you're in chat today, I haven't seen you in chat much often, but I'm glad you're here today. And also, thank you for watching Rainy's stream yesterday. I felt really awkward because when I was on stream, only my chatters were chatting. <laughs> I kind of took over her chat accidentally. But thank you for watching. Also, tell Kim I said thank you. I always feel weird whenever I do collabs. And also, like, just in general, Rainy's chat is not a React chat. So, like, if Rainy doesn't talk directly to her viewers, they do not engage. And that's something that she's working on. So, yeah. Yeah, they're normies. <laughs> Get back to the quiz. Dude, this stream is almost two hours long already. What the fuck? I thought I could bang this out in an hour. Que <laughs> nos puede blank la cuenta. Correr is to do. Nos is us. La cuenta is the bill. Nos puede llevar. Llevar is to... To lift. Llevar. I think it's to lift. I don't know what it is. Traer is to bring. Sacar. No sé que... Sacaris. To dry? Because I know seco. Oh no, seco is S y not sacar. I don't know what sacar is, but traer is probably the the obvious answer. Because to bring. Can you can you bring us the bill? I feel like I chair scare the chatters. Don't worry about it. You're fine, Mac. Hoy lo blank en las noticias. Today lo is it. In Las Noticias, in the news. Oh, it's another on! Has dicho 
as an hecho or on descubierto. Hecho? I don't know what the un is. I don't know that verb. <laughs> I don't know what dicho is. I don't know what descubierto is. Y no sé hecho. I, I think hecho is has got to be hacer. But I just don't know the verb type yet. Hoy lo... I'm going to guess B because always go B. Lo contrario de estrecho es blank. I don't know any of this shit. <laughs> Ligero, no sé. Ancho, no sé. Largo es long. Contrario de estrecho. We're going to say largo because that's the only word I know. Man, this is so hard. Blank, alguna vez arroz a la cubana. Alguna vez... One time, I saw arroz a la cubana. Arroz is rice. Cubana, excuse me, cubana no sé qué cubana. Or cubana, like cubano, you can use it to say Cuban, like an adjective, like uh, ethnicity. So be cubano, cubano. So it could be to the Cuban person feminine, but I don't, I don't think that's a... You should have kept phone your chatter. No, I don't want to cheat. But I did ask you what verano was. On bailando, on vis visitando, or on comido. Oh, wait. Is a la cubana like the place? Bailando, that sounds like bailar, which is to dance. Visitado is to visit. Comido is to eat. I'm going to say on visitado. Nuria está haciendo segundo de arquitectura. Nuria, probably a name, is doing, está haciendo, is to, they're doing, segundo, the second, de arquitectura. Arquitectura. I assume this architecture. Todavía no ha terminado sus estudios. They did not. Finish, terminators to finish their studies. Ya ha estudiado arquitectura. They already are studying agri agriculture or architecture. Ya ha fini fini la finalizado su carrera. They already finished. Carrera is race. I'm going to say the first one. They already finished their studies. Estoy, complete, estoy completamente de acuerdo. Blank. I am completely... Acuerdo is like in agreement. So I am completely in agreement. Blank. A usted con razón contigo. A usted is to you formal. Con razón with reason. Contigo with you. It's with you. I'm completely in agreement with you. Easy. Nunca blank carne. Nunca no comes, no has comido or has comido. <sighs> No comes is you don't eat, or yeah, you don't eat. No has comido or has comida. And nunca, you, remember I said earlier, if, if it's a negative sentence, all descriptions and words, um, verbs have to be negative, so it'll be no has comido. That's my guess. Ahora comemos blank antes. Now we eat blank than before. Algo is some. Peor, worse, mucho is a lot. Ahora comemos peor than before, a lot than before. Well, you would say mucho, you would say más, más, more, not a lot. Algo is something, something than before. It's peor, peor. You'll say mejor que, peor que, like together a lot. ¿Qué lleva puesto? I don't know. Llevar... Wait, is Yevad to wear? Because these are all, like, clothing. Llevas una camisa blanco y unos pantalones vaqueros? I think Yev is Yevad to wear. You wear a white shirt y pants vaqueros. I forgot what a vaquero meant. Lleve 
lleva un abrigo de moda. Moda, no. De moda, uh, no sé. I almost confused it with comora. Like comfortable or comfortable. Comora is. I forgot. I almost said couch, but that's not the right word. Is it couch? No sé. I think comora is couch. Uh, lleváis unas corbatas muy bonitas. I assume lleváis to wear some ties that were or some pretty ties. Lleva. I'm gonna say lleva the matching conjugation. Mis zapatos son blank que en los tuyos. My shoes are blank than yours. Los tuyos is yours. Because los is repeating shoes, but not saying shoes again. Tan cómodos as comfortable. Más caros, more expensive. Más cortos. Corto. More short. No, corto. Corto. Um, I, it's not short. I don't remember. I think, wait, is cortos? I think cortos is short, like length. Like, you say, like, mis pantalones son cortos. I think cortos is length, but short length. Does test got hard? Yeah, dude, fourth grade is cooking me. Or no, this is, this is fifth and sixth grade. You use tan to say it's equal. I don't remember if you use ton adjective and then you put a K after it. Like, my bed is as big as yours. Mi cama es tan grande los tuyo, or is it que los tuya, or tuyo, or tuya, because comma is feminine. I'm going to say mas caros. My shoes are more expensive than yours. Wait, this quiz? Oh my god, this one has 40. <laughs> I thought it was almost done. <laughs> Guys, it's a subathon. Los pantalones, comma, blank. Como los quiere? How she likes them. Donde los quiere? Where do you want them? Que los quiere? Do you want them? Or do they want them? Como, how, where, what? I'm going to say como. <laughs> Dude, this is taking forever. <laughs> ¿Qué está haciendo Miguel? What is Miguel doing? Está copiando los abuentes. I don't know what that means at all. Puente? No, no, no sé que... I don't know what puente is. It sounds so familiar though. Or no, apunte. There's no e in there. I'm saying it wrong. Apunte. I don't know. I don't know what apunte is. Estoy jugando, or estoy jugando a las cartas. I am playing at the cards. No sé qué carta es. Están hablando. They're talking. Um, está is the only matching congregation congregate congregation for Miguel. I love my stutter. Qué libro está blank. What book are you? Leer, leído, or leyendo? Present tense, ing, reading, leyendo. El Dio de los Muertos, blank, in total Mexico. The Day of the Dead, blank, in all of Mexico. Podemos comer en el cementerio? Se celebra, or se celebra, o se regala? Regala is present. I think it's say celebrate because it's probably celebrate. La última vez que Blanca España blank hace muchos años. The last time I saw blank in 
in Spain, blank. Or base it, the last time that blank in Spain, blank hace muchos años. Hace means many years ago. So you would say hace dos meses, two months ago. Hace tres días, three days ago. Conoce fue, vine fue, visito es. You'd always use fue, because fue is past tense, hace is past tense. Conocí is past tense, I went or I saw, like a place, or I knew a place. Vine is venir, is to come, he or she conjugation. You're talking about yourself. So conocí, the last time you knew, or like went to Spain, or knew of Spain when you went. I think it's cuando si fue, because vine is not past tense. If it was past tense, it would have an uh, asterisk. Or a accent, not an asterisk. Dude, I'm, I'm barely, I'm a little over halfway through this one. Blank fue la última vez que hiciste a dos stop. Blank was the last time you did auto stop. Cuando, because that's talking about when was the last time you did something. Blank fue el mejor viaje de tu vida. Blank was the best trip of your life. Cual, which was, or no, is it que? Por donde, no, fue, fue is was. Cual, que. I think it's cual. Que, but there's like, I said earlier, like, use cual if there's like a list of things you can choose from. Que, I, I think this one is cual. Creo que es cual. Cuando blank. What? Cuando ubilarse, ubilo, or se ubilo. <sighs> se ubilo. Because that's conjugated, and I assume it has se at the end of it. Después de separarte, blank a casar. After you separate, blank, get married. Tu volviste volver is to return. Se vuelve. Os volviste. What is that conjugation? Uh, after, oh, it's separate So this is te, so you. Te volviste is the only you conjugation. Donde blank goya. Naciste, nació, ha nacido. I don't know what nacer is. Donde goya. Nació is he or she past conjugation. Naciste is you. Ha nacido. I don't know what ha nacido is. Goya is probably a name, so I'm going to say nació. Como blank usted anoche? How did blank usted is you formal anoche last night? Como dormiste, you sleep, duerme is he or she slept, sleep, present tense, or dormió is he or she slept. He or she, because usted is he or she formal, or you formal, sorry. Como blank, pero como vas a, vas en, or vas por. How did you go to Peru? When you're talking about how do you get to somewhere by a means of transportation, it's por. Como vas por Peru? Yeah. En Orlando, blank mucho. Yo ver, yo via, yo ve. In Orlando, so in this place, rains a lot. Yo via is present tense. Yueve is past tense. Yover. It has to be conjugated to match those yuvia. No, yuvia is just rain. Yover. No, it, it would be um yueve. Yueve. Because yuvia by itself is just rain, not a verb. ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? How was the weekend? Lo pasaba muy bien. Lo he pasado muy bien. Lo paso muy bien.
Pasaba is... It used to be. I think it's a pasado. Because, okay, the a verb conjugation has to be some type of past tense. Maybe it's, wait, maybe it's recent past tense. I'll look at it later. That's my guess. La película de la película del otro día fue muy graciosa blank. The movie from the other day was very funny, just like me. Si or sé no mucho, nos reímos mucho, me río mucho. Oh, re, re, le, re, 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 I can't say it. Reírse is to laugh. Se rio is he laughed, nos, we laughed, me rio. I think it's nos reimos because se rio. I don't think it's the right conjugation. In me rio, that's not correct at all. It would be me re, re I think. Se rio. I think it's nos reimos. Quien blank los Incas? I don't know what Incas are. Eran cultiv cult cultivaban, acu acupaban. Que eran? Who were? Yeah, the other verbs don't really make sense. Cuando blank diez años jugaba el baloncesto. How many blank ten years did you used to play baloncesto as basketball? How many blank ten years did you used to play or jugaba is did they used to play basketball? Cumplí. Cumplía. Tenía. Cuando tenía diez años. Who has ten years playing basketball? Cum, cumplir? Is that to complete? I'm going to say tenía. Se la, re, se la regalé a mi hermana el que. What? <laughs> regalé, regalar, a no sé. A mi hermana. To my sister, huh? La bicicleta, el bolso, las faldas. The bike? The bag? The skirts? Right, maybe it's to return. El que? El bolso? El bolso? El que? Because that means what masculine thing? Singular. Blank conté un secreto ayer. <gasps> Conterse? Is that to spill the tea? La lole. Uh, le. Lo? La. Le is like he or she. It, masculine, it, feminine. I'm going to say le because I assume they're going to spill the tea to somebody else. And you know what else I'm going to spill? An ad break. Because guys... We are two hours in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Keep your coffee, get ad free viewing all month long, or you can link Amazon Prime. Tier two and hashtag sub for free with Prime. We've already gotten one Prime sub today. Can we get another? Click subscribe. See if you got a sub available. Do it now. If you can't tell, I'm trying to do the ad break in one breath. I'm I'm almost there. I can do it. Okay. ¿Cómo será el futuro? How will the future be? Oh, that's future tense. I only learned a little bit of future tense. I didn't learn a lot. ¿Cómo, how is the future going to be? Hay mucho tráfico. Habla mucho trabajo. 
or saldremos de vacaciones. I don't know what saldre is. Abra is future tense, there will be. I is current. So my assumption is abra. There will be lots of work. No soy una persona blank. Armonia, peligrosidad, o super stico. Supersticiosa. <laughs> Una persona is feminine. Armonia, I don't know what that means. Peligrosidad. Peligroso is gross, disgusting. So I assume that's disgusting person. Supersticiosa. Superstitious, I'll say that. Let's see. Wait! Your scores are 70? Yo! Out of 40, I got 20 correct. Okay, I'm back up. I went from a 60 to a 70. I'm on the up and up, baby. Okay, so 28, 28 out of 40 is still not good. Yeah, I, I, was, I thought I would tank. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I had no clue on this one. Okay, add on. Okay, I had no idea on this one. Como vas por what? Como how... Wait, I thought I thought I had this one clocked. Como vas a Peru? Como vas en? How did you go in Peru? How did you go? Maybe it's vas a. Maybe. La última vez que vine a España? Did I come to Spain? No, no. It's not visito. I don't know on that one. Somebody hacked me. Nunca. Okay, I didn't know that one. 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 For okay, most of them that I'm getting wrong is just like grammar that I don't know yet. Este fin de semana voy al cine. I I didn't know those ones. Normalmente voy a trabajo. Is it en bicicleta? En co no. Okay, maybe I'm DUM. Okay, our second to last quiz. Let's try upper intermediate, B1. So this is like late middle school, early high school level. So if I can score well on a B1 test, then that shows that I'm like proficient. So if I score at least, at least 50, I'm proficient. <laughs> Let's see how many questions are in this one. Lomau, 40. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas estudiando español? How much time? I don't know what llevar is in this context. Llevar estudiar. How much time did you spend studying Spanish? Siempre hablo español. I always spoke Spanish. Desde hace dos años. I don't remember what desde is. Y he estudiado mucho español. I've already studied a lot of Spanish. I'm going to say desde hace dos años. Because it's asking me how long did I study Spanish. I think saying... Something two years ago is good. Antes blank salía a pasear. I don't know what that is at all. Before something salía a pasear. Pasear, is that to pass? Before. One day, sometimes one time. Before. I'm going to say a day. Está blank la pronunciación. How was the pronunciation? Se los da, se les da, os da. I don't know. I don't know any of these. Always go with B. En Argentina encontramos como variedad lingüística. In Argentina, encontrar is to find how the variety of language 
Ustedes is you, plural, formal. El vocabulario is vocabulary. El voceo. Always go with B. Mi amigo Lorenzo es muy blank. My friend Lorenzo is very. This one should be easy. Sensible y optimistica. Indeliente y sincera. O tolerante y solidaria. Oh no, they're all like neutral adjectives and then an adjective that may or may not always have an A ending. Optimistica, sincera, o solidaria. Optimistica, I feel like that would end in an O. Sincero, I feel like that would also end in an O. I'm going to say tolerante y solidaria is an The solidaria, I guess, always ends in A. Se casaron. They got married. Como tenían muchos intereses comunes. How they had many interests in common. Porque tenían un hijo en común. They had a son in common. <gasps> Porque tenían ganas. Ganas is... It's not, ganas is to win. Uh, I don't remember what ganas, like, as a noun was. Maybe it means Ws? Como tenían muchos intereses comunes. Eh. Oh, wait, it can't be por qué, because that is, like, asking why. Por qué is combined if it's in the middle of the sentence. I'm going to say porque tenían un hijo en común. Because they had a son in common. Como no tenían sueño? Blank. Sueño. Excuse me. No, no me recuerdo que sueño. Tengo sueño. Suerte is strength. Sueño. It's not tired. Uh, no me recuerdo. <laughs> I don't remember. Sueño. Se fueron a pasear when it's going to pass. Salían de la casa when they used to leave the house. Hablaban mucho. They used to talk a lot. Como no tenían sueño. I think sueño is tiredness. I'm going to say salían de la casa. Se conocieron en una fiesta. They met at a party. Y se iban a la cama. A la cama. Wait, y se iban? Oh my God, they went to bed. <laughs> Yo. Y ni se dieron cuenta. They didn't say the bill. Y a los dos años se casaron. And two years later, they got married. We're going to say they got married. They didn't go to bed. They got married first, of course. Of course. Por supuesto. Cristobal Colon confundido. Cristobal Colon is confused. El continente con la India. Con la India. They're confused with India. <laughs> El tabaco. Con una especia. Tobacco. Especia. No sé. Al quiche con el nautal. Always go with B. Blank es el país más pequeño de Hispano America. Blank is the place, of the, is the smallest place of Hispanic America. ¿Cuál? Because you're saying which is the smallest place. Que elemento básico es originario de América? Alimento. No sé. Basic element? No, basic food. I think elemento is food. El tomate, el café, la patata. 
potatoes, coffee, or... Yeah, tomato, coffee, or potato. Tomato, potato. I think, no, potatoes are from Europe. Tomatoes are... Cafe? I'm going to say tomatoes because I feel like coffee can come from anywhere. Potatoes are from Europe and tomatoes? Maybe from America? No, is it really potatoes? No. Because, like, settlers brought potatoes, I think. No sé. Hablabla espanol perfectamente porque they spoke Spanish. They used to speak Spanish perfectly because había escrito a su familia durante mucho tiempo. They used to write to their family for a lot of time. Había vivido en Lima unos diez años. They used to live in Lima some ten years ago. Tenía muchas ganas de conocer America. They had something to know America. I'm going to say they lived in Lima. Even though I don't know where Lima. It sounds my ligma. ¿Qué es de tu vida? What is your life? ¿Cuánto me alegro? ¿Qué sorpresa? Pues no hay nada nuevo. There's nothing new in my life. Anoche, como estaba muy casada, blank. Last night, I was very tired, cansada. Me acostaba muy pronto, I went to bed very quickly. Me levanté muy pronto, I woke up. Me acosté muy pronto. Okay, last night, I was very tired, so I went to bed quickly. Acostaba, you don't go to bed often. You do that as like a one-time action. So I think it's me acosté muy pronto. Era una persona muy... They were a, por, a very... They were a person very blank. Reflexiva y trabajador. Optimistica y solidaria. O sensible y sarinoso. This is una persona. So trabajador has trabajadora. So that is a masculine, that is incorrect. Optimistica y solidaria is feminine. Cariñoso is masculine. Una persona is a feminine word. So it's optimistica y solidaria. Yeah, I'm saving my hint. Mi madre y yo, blank. My mother and I, nos parecemos mucho. Believe in each other a lot. Or think about each other a lot. Me llevo muy bien. That's I get up very well. Soy igual que ella. I am equal to her. Nos, pare nos parecemos mucho. Because that's the only mi madre is yo is we. Me llamo fetal. Huh? We can't say that in my chat. Me llevo fetal blank. I don't know what that is. A mi pareja, por mi pareja, con mi pareja. I don't know what pareja is. Um, excuse me. A mi, por mi, con mi. Um, con mi. Wait, always guess B. Me pono, no. Me pone nervioso, bl blink. Ponerse. Ponerse is to put on oneself. Nervioso is nervous. Cuando discuto con alguien, when I, I don't know what discuto, I don't know what verb that is, con alguien is with someone. Discutir con alguien, discutiendo con alguien. I think it's the first one because you're saying I am nervous when versus I am nervous to blank verb. I think it's cuando. Es una boda se desea, colon. Boda is a wedding. It's a wedding that something. 
I don't know what desear is. Que cumplas muchos más. Cumpla. Cumpleaños is birthday. Que pasen una buena luna de miel. Is miel honey? No. I just learned miel the other day. O que tu planes se hagan realidad. Que cumplas muchos más, I think. Ojalá blank la pobreza en el mundo. Ojalá. No sé qué was ojalá. La pobreza. I don't know what that is. En el mundo. Of the world! Se termina, that ended. Se acaba, or se acabe. Se acaba. Always go with B. Cuando blank mayor, blank palido. Or pali, or paloto. When blank mayor, older, blank paloto. I don't know what paloto is. Or piloto, piloto. I keep on saying the wrong thing. Seya soy, sere voy a ser, or seya blank sere. What? This is future tense. Cuando sea mayor, seré piloto. I think sea is future tense for sure. And then sere is future tense. Smile. Para estar sana, blank. I don't know what sena is or sana. Estar is to be. To be something. Ale men. Tate bien. I don't know what that is. No come is mal. Don't eat bad. Comete una paella. Always go with B. I don't know any of these. Si va al médico, lo más seguro es que le diga que blank. To be a doctor. It's best to make sure that you tell them that no abuses de alcohol, no abuse del alcohol, or no beban mucho alcohol. Le is singular, so abuse. Yo que tu, I that you, darle menos importancia al problema, dar is to give, menos is less. I give them less important to the problem. Important, okay. Importancia is not important because importante is important like an adjective. I haven't seen importancia. Dejaria de hacer la cabra. I don't know that at all. Me voy de vacaciones. I go with myself to vacations. Yo que tu. Always go with B. Te ha llamado tu amiga y ha dicho que. I called your friend. Y. They told me that. Te llamé después. They called you after. Te venga a buscar. Venga. I don't know what that verb is. They something to find. Te llamaría más tarde. They used to call you very late. I think it's A. I don't know why. Ojalá que te blank. I don't know what ojalá is. No sé. Vaya buen. Compro un coche. Or sientes feliz. To feel happy, to buy a car. Vaya buen. Bien. Vaya bien. That's a to be good. Compro un coche. Always go with B. La gente vive mejor en la ciudad. 
the people live better in society, ciudad. Ciudad is not, no, it's city, it's city. No creo que sea así. Yo pienso que sea verdad. Creo que no sepa lo que dice. These are all conjugations of ser. Always go with B. Estoy a favor de blank. I'm in favor of. Que se prohíbe fumar. Que se prohibió fumar. Que se prohíba fumar. A, because there's two con conjugations of B having an ER instead of an AR ending. Busca el sinónimo de inocentar. I don't know this at all. <laughs> Buscar is to find. Carcajara, I don't know. Chiste or broma? Chiste. It's not a kiss. <laughs> Chiste. You still have your hint? Dude, I would ask for like five hints on this quiz. This one is very difficult. There's so much vocab that I don't know. But you know what? I will learn one day. Because one of my long-term goals in life is to be able to like write an essay completely in Spanish. Busco el sinónimo de inocentado. Find the synonym. synonym of innocent. Broma. That's my guess. Chiste. Chiste sounds like a mean word. I'll go with broma. Estábamos comiendo cuando we were eating when salía en televisión mi programa favorita. Nos llamaron de eh, urgencias. Entrabas por la puerta. Entrar is to enter. They entered up. Yeah, you entered the door. They called us urgently. Salia. Something came on the television, or my favorite program went on the television. I think because this is estabamos, which is nosotros, we. Nos is the only one that has we in the sentence. A lot of these are common words. So I think you, if you get these words, it'll boost your Spanish. For sure. For sure. One day I'll be fluent, fluent, and then I can become a Spanish Minecraft streamer just like Quackity. Estaba en el ascensor cuando... He, she, or they formal were in something when nos quedábamos sin luz. We were staying without light. Se paró. Something stopped. Te via entrar. Ascensor sounds like elevator. I'm going to say it stopped. Because that makes the most sense. Mientras tú preparabas el artículo... Mientras. Mentira is lie. It's not mentira. I don't know what mientras. Tu preparabas. You prepared el artículo. The article? Yo salí de fiesta. I left the festival. Yo hacía los fotografías. I did the photographs. Yo había trabajado. Mientras? Maybe that's like, I remember. Yo hacía las fotografías. I did the photographs. En qué década nació el cine sonoro? In what decade? Something, the movie, something. In Inglaterra, England. In los vente. In 20? Hace 20 años. In what decade? I'm going to say, always go with B. Un melodrama es a drama show. 
una película, un género sino, cinematográfico, o Pedro Almodovar. Una película. Me encanta que I love that. La gente sea abierta. The people something abierta is open. Mi trabajo es muy divertido. I love that my job is very fun. La gente aprende español. The people understand Spanish. Wait, these all can work. Always go B. Llegas puntualmente a las citas. Do you come or do you arrive puntualmente? Oh, punctual to the dates. Corta es rollo. I don't know what that is. Se me ha olvidado. Oh my God, I forgot. Por supuesto. Of course. Of course I arrive promptly to all dates. Ladies. ¿Qué es lo mejor que se te da del español? What is the best that something gave you of Spanish? Lo que se me da mejor es hacer manualidades. <laughs> lo que más me ha gustado, lo que más me ha gustado es la gramática o sin duda alguna conversar. Without a doubt, sin duda is without a doubt. Alguna conversar what someone can is able to converse <sighs> lo que se ma de mejor es hacer I, i'm gonna because se me da mejor me, me, se me da mu, mejor matches lo que mejor se te da that's the only reason why i'm picking it Como saludaras a un amigo que no has visto últimamente? How do you greet a girl that you have not seen ultimately? Or no, últimamente. That can also mean last, I think. Le, re, le retiro la palabra. Retiro. Some, so I don't know what retiro is, but palabra is word. Le doy dos besos. <gasps> I I give her two kisses. <gasps> La llamo por teléfono. I call her by telephone. How do you greet a person that you haven't seen? Yeah, you give them two kisses, obviously. <laughs> In Australia, preguntar a alguien lo que gana es de. In Australia, you can ask somebody who won it is from. Visio. I don't know what that is. Mala gana. I don't know what that is. Mala educación. Mala is bad education. Mala gana. Visio. I don't know. You know what I. You know what I do know, though, is that it's time for me to tell you if you're new here to click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty sick? So, guys, turn that heart purple today. And the last question on this test. A mí me sorprende que los comercios... At me, I'm surprised that los comercios... Commercials... No cierren durante el fin de semana. I don't know what this verb is. Something, they don't do something during the weekend. No venden marijuana. I don't know. Son muy caros. Are very expensive. Expenses are, commercials are expensive. Okay, let's see. This is the level B1. Your score is 50. 20 correct, 20 incorrect. But you know what? That's still 
50 to 75. You might be around upper intermediate three and four. Okay, I, I, I barely passed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I was guessing on like most every single question that one, but I didn't know a lot of the vocab. Yeah, a lot of these, I just, they're all literally, I guessed. Okay, so that was all the tests I'm going to do from El Patio, the website. Out of all of them, elementary level 1, I scored 80. Elementary 2, 90. Elementary 3, 70. Elementary 4, 60. A2, 70%. And finally, B1, 50%. So that means the highest I scored was elementary level 2. The lowest I scored was B1. So, like, high school, I did not score well in. But I still scored enough to have a basic understanding of most vocab and sentence structures. So, now that we've gone through most of the levels, so to reemphasize, so to, sorry. <laughs> So to emphasize, the first few tests I did were following the CEFR scale. So based on that, I scored slightly within range for all the different levels from A to B. I didn't take any of the C tests, but for this last quiz that we're going to do together, it's a general test to see if you score lower, intermediate, or advanced following the CEFR scale. So we're going to see if I truly am within the A, the higher A or lower B rank with this quiz. Okay, I'm so embarrassed. Also, I think I think this one is shorter. I think this one only has 20. Okay, so this test is from ESLlanguages.com. They offer premium learning services. As I said before, I'm not sponsored. But this test will tell me my actual A, B, or C level on the CEFR scale. So let's go ahead and get started. Question one. Por favor. Seleccione la mejor palabra para comple complementar la siguiente oración. Please select the best word to complete the following sentence. La gente de esta ciudad blank muy simpática. The people of the city blank very kind. Siente es dice viva. Es. The people of the city are very kind. DC is to say Vivia is living siente. For some reason, I thought it was seven, but I think that's to feel. Okay. Por favor. Oh, I'm not going to say that every time. Yo soy enfermera y tú, a que blank. I am a nurse and you. What? Estas trabajas te dedicas or haces? ¿Qué haces? It could be que trabajas, but that's not the right use of it. ¿Qué haces los fines de semana? Normalmente yo blanco cine, blanco fútbol con mis amigos. Normalmente yo voy al cine y hugo al fútbol, ando, juego, ir, or voy. Or hugo, no, hugo is not present tense, it's juego. Yo juego fútbol. Me blank los gafas que te has comprado. Me blank. I think gafas is gafas de sol is sunglasses. So gafas might just be like slang for sunglasses or just glasses. Que ta, te que te has comprado that you bought. Me gusto gustas gustan gusta. Gafas is plural, and we're talking about present tense because you would use. Um, gusto, if it was past, gustas, is, you don't use S at the end of gustar. I think it's gustan, because gafas is plural. Ew, I hate this song. Yay. In Barcelona, blank, muchos taxis. In Barcelona, blank, lots of taxis. Están, tiene, hay, son. It'd be I, because you would say, in Barcelona, there are many taxis. DNA, you could say they have many taxis, but it makes sense to say there are. 
¿Cuántos años blank tú? Blank 25. Or 25. <laughs> uh, you say, how many years do you have? So it'd be, ¿cuántos años tienes tú? Tengo 25, yeah. Or 25. This quiz is so much easier. Watch me, like, score, like, rank a million. ¿A qué hora blank normalmente en España? Sobre las doce y media. At what time blank normally in Spain? Sobre, sobre, about, 12.30. ¿A qué hora? Oh, a qué star say is to wake up. Wait, is Aku Star really to wake up? Because around 12.30 doesn't seem right. Oh no, Aku Star is to go to bed, I think. Yeah, it's to go to bed. Cuando, a que hora? Te o cuestas is the correct conjugation. Lina siempre llega temprano, pero hoy blank tarde. Lina always gets up early, but today blank late. Oh, I don't know the conjugation. It's not esta, ha llegado, llegaba, or he venido. It's he llegado. That's the only matching conjugation. Oh, wait, maybe that was wrong. It's fine. Cuando blank por la calle me encontré con Pedro. When blank por la calle in the calle street me encontré con Pedro. I... Entered with Pedro. Cuando fui, he ido, había ido, iba. I don't know the conjugation yet. I don't know this one. Uh. Cuando fui por la calle. Cuando he ido, había ido, iba. Fui is went. Or like, I went past tense. Oh, encontrar is to meet up with. Or I, I, I met up with Pedro. I'm going to say, ¿cuándo fui? El verano que viene blank al Caribe. The summer that they came. Something al Caribe. The summer that they came. These are all conjugations for nosotros, but different verbs. You would say estamos en, if it's a place, not all. Iremos, seremos. Oh wait, this upcoming summer! Because when you say something came viene, that's I when something is coming. Flower batch satch. In a way. Thank you for the resub, Kobobo. Another prime sub? Holy moly. Can we get some Wobobos in chat? Thank you. I want a pink flower badge. You're two months away. You're so close. Don't worry, Kobobo. Pretty soon, it's going to be rare to have like a rose badge. So that's going to be like really special. Thank you, Kobobo. I appreciate your continued support. The blue one is actually cuter. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Uh... Que viene? I'm going to keep it at Fuimos. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. I skipped a question. Oh, no! <laughs> The blue badge is two and a half years. I skipped a question. This test is ruined. Cuando blank pequeña siempre blank en casa de mis abuelas. Cuando... Cuando era pequeña, when I was a child. Siempre comía... Yeah, that's correct. Blank has llegado hace horas que te empresábamos. Something has arrived. It's been hours that esperar 
It's been hours that we've been waiting. Porfin! Finally! Antes en España la gente no blank tantas libertades. Before in, a, in Spain, the people didn't have as many rights. I think libertades is liberties or rights. In España la gente no tuvo. No, no. Before, it could be tenía. Or I think I think it's Tania because Tubo is like one time in the past versus Tania they didn't used to have. It's Tania. Maradona blank el mejor jugador de fútbol de la historia. This person is blank is the best football player in history. Está no. Eres no estuvo no. Es. Donde blank la fiesta en casa de Pedro? Where blank the fiesta? At Pedro's house. Donde está? Obviously. Estoy muy estresado. ¿Qué áreas tú en mi lugar? Yo que tu blank deporte. I am very stressed. What? Áreas? No sé qué. Well, oh, it's, it probably is, what would you do in my place? I think that. Blank deporte. Ooh, I think that you should. Ise. Aseria, az, or aria. You, you could say like as la tarea, like do your homework, because that's a command. Aria. Aseria. Ise. I think it's as. I think that was a command. Dime blank una moto. Te prometo que blank mucho. I don't know this at all. Something I should. Moto. Moto. It's not motor. I don't know what motto is. Tu prometo que? I don't know what that means. Mucho, a lot. If you buy me something, something that I would study a lot. Si quieres ver esa película, Blanco Cine esta noche. If you want to see that movie, Blank, to the theater tonight. Vas al cine, yeah, vas al cine. No te Blank sin que el profesor te te... Wait. No te Blank sin que el profesor te dé los deberes para mañana. No te I think it's vias because I remember no te vias as a phrase, but I don't know what the phrase means. Man, how many questions are in here? <laughs> Come on. Twenty one. Ojalá blank Elena esta noche en la fiesta. I don't remember what Ojala is. Elena esta noche. Something Elena tonight at the festival. Vendra, viene, venga, vendria. Ojala. It's a, it's a command word. I know it's a command. Let's do vendria. Because I know it's ven. Te veré cuando blank a Barcelona. You will see... No, they will see you when something on Barcelona. Vuelves, you go. Volverías. You used to go. No, 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 that's in the future. This is future tense. Volverías. I think that's future. 
Me encanta que mis compañeros de clase blanquen muchas nacionalidades. I love that many of my classmates something are of of many nationalities. Yeah, son de. Es fantástico que son las nuevas compañías aéreas o aéreas la gente blank viajar a mejor precio. It's fantastic that the new companies aéreas, I don't know that is, the people, something travel at the best price. Puede puro, pueda a purido. It's gonna be puede because it's la gente and it's present tense, so it's puede. ¿Por qué no ha venido hoy a trabajar Pedro? No sé blank. Enfermo porque ayer no se encontraba muy bien. Why didn't you come to work today, Pedro? I don't know. Something blank. Sick because ayer, because yesterday, I didn't encontrar, encontrarse. I don't know what encontrarse is very well. Estaría, este, está, estará. Oh, wait, maybe the conjugation is could be. Estadio. Hay alguien en la oficina que blank japonés. Is there anyone in the office that blank Japanese? Sepa supo sabe sabra. Sabe. Who knows Japanese? Es disfile blank el 15 de marzo. I don't know what disfile is. The 15th of March. Es. Me parece muy extraño que no blank para decirnos que no venía. I think that it's very... I know extraño is a negative adjective. That no blank to tell us that you didn't, weren't going to go. Ha llamado, I think is my best guess. Mi profesor me aconsejo que blank mucho. My professor, I don't know what this verb is, but something to them, that's something a lot. Aconsejo. Oh, no say. Oh, this, this has got to be past tense, though, because it's the O with the accent. Aconsejar is probably the verb that I studied a lot. This is the only past tense word. Me gustaría hablar un español perfecto y que no se blank el acento extranjero. I used to like speaking in Spanish perfectly and that no blank... And knew the external, 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 maybe it's obvious. Accento is accent. Y no se sabe notar a nota hablo. Y no se. Hablo. Si blank a Madrid, comería cocido madrileño. Yes, something to Madrid. Comería cocido. We eat cooking of something. That's an adjective, I think. The ia is future tense. I know that's future tense. I'm going to go with idiot. 
El policía me ha dicho que blank una denuncia los antes posible. The police? Something told me that. Something is possible. <laughs> He puesto. ¿Cómo sería si blank en el siglo? I don't know Roman numerals. <laughs> oh, how were? How were something in the century Roman numeral? Nacieres, hubieras nacido, nacerías, or naciste. I don't know this verb type at all. Nacerías. Me encanta que durante este mes de vacaciones me blank como ahora reina. I love that during these months of vacation, I something like a queen. Reina is queen. Slay reina. A trates, a tratado, tratraste, o hayas tratado. I don't know what the tratar is. You said this test was easy? Yeah, the first 10 were really easy. It's probably because they get harder as you go on, unfortunately. I just need to stop yapping too soon. Me. Me. I don't know. Me. Me. Me has tratado los extren no lo <laughs> los extranjeros están hartos de que los españoles españoles blank tan impuntuales. I don't know any of this. Son, because this is present tense. Creo que no me reconoció porque le saludé y él me miró como si amas me. I think that he didn't reconoce. Remember me? Because he didn't. He greeted me and L, he saw. Me, I don't know how mad is. Me conocería. No les digas nada. Es mejor hacerlo blank se entere. They didn't, you didn't tell them anything. It's better to do it. Something se entere. Mientras que ya que menos que. No sé qué es entere. Enterere. No, entere. Sin que. No te preocupes a medida que blank el tiempo lo irás Olvidando todo. Do not worry about it. Something that the time you are going to forget all of it. Don't worry about it. Something with time. Um, Pasadilla. <laughs> A pesar de que no le blank demasiado los animales vive con una tarántula. Pesar? No sé qué. I don't know what pesar is. Demasiado is too many animals live with a tarantula. Oh, these are gustar. 
Oh, okay, okay. This is this is easy. Gusta. Contesta al teléfono blank me, por favor, que estoy muy ocupada. Contesta. I don't know what contesta is. Something by telephone to me. Please. I am very busy. Para mí. <laughs> 16 out of 14? <laughs> 16 out of 40. My level is A2 pre intermediate. <laughs> <laughs> okay so like i'm at the high school level but like middle school like i'm like a little i'm like a little ninth grader level like sometimes i'm in middle school sometimes it's high school depending on where you live okay let me write that down <laughs> Okay, these ones were hard. I didn't know the future tense in the a hecho, the a a. I don't know that. Wait, what percentage is that? <laughs> Shit. That's a forty percent. Okay. So on the ESL languages website for their pre screening test, I scored 16 out of 40, 40%. I'm at A2 pre intermediate. So like middle school, maybe high school level comprehension. Which, let's be honest, that's only what I learned up to in school anyway, so it makes sense. My head hurts. I feel dumb. <laughs> okay, so to answer the question of did AP Spanish make me fluent? I think the answer is no. I'm still at a middle or high school level. My goal this year is to learn a lot more. I do do Duolingo every day. I do do little worksheets for fun. And I also like watch some Spanish speaking media like movies or TV shows occasionally. I love eBuy. I watch a lot of eBuy on Twitch. His accent is a bit harder to understand. But you know what? One day, I'll get to that level. Even though if right now I'm at like a little ninth grader level. Don't worry, I'll do it. Man, I tried my best, y'all. I gotta get back to studying. Okay, well, I'm also, wait, yeah, editor? I gotta flip this for the editor. Editor screenshot. These are all the results. There we go. That way they have it for later. Okay, guys. I think we're going to wrap up stream here for today, but do not worry, we did get some resubs with Prime, so we get to do calligraphy. It's been like a week since we've done calligraphy, guys, so you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun. Also, I need to run an ad, because we are three hours in the stream. So, if you're new here, click the follow button, it's free. If you like today's stream, you can watch every single day, 11 a.m. PST, just about every day. And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on, but it's time for an ad. Click subscribe if you enjoy what I do and want to help support and get ad free viewing. Isn't that sick? Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought I could whip this out in an hour. But you know what? I'm just balling. That Spanish test was really difficult. I know, right? I know, right? I tag everyone in the chat room to take the test themselves. Hell yeah. I'm getting my camera set up. If you guys could, make sure. Or go check out my new video. 
I took chat to an island getaway. Click the link. Go watch it now. If you don't enjoy calligraphy, which is valid. And we haven't whipped out the camera in like a week. She's dusty. You guys know the drill. If you use your channel points, I will write your name. Also, if you guys have any other ideas for just chatting streams, tell me. And I might do it. Wait, Mac, are you still in chat? When are you going to start streaming, hon? Guys, no free feet, sorry. <laughs> now I gotta think. I know, right? You know what's hilarious, Mac? I'm editing old bots for clips, right? I'm putting my hair up. Um, And there's been two occasions where, Mac, you said, <laughs> I'm gonna stream this year. And you said it every year for the last two years. I wanna build a PC. Ooh, that'd be kinda cool. I want to stream, I know. You know what would be kind of cool? If you're able to go live on any other platform, Mac. You could do building my dream stream PC. And like just stream yourself building it. Like maybe on an alt account or maybe on like a YouTube channel. That way you can like build hype up for like your official launch. Like just stream from your phone. You can try that. I think that might do well on, like, a TikTok live, too. But I think in order to stream on TikTok, you need a thousand followers. I could stream from my current laptop, but I don't think it'd be very good. Mmm. True. That is true. My first few streams were on my MacBook Pro. And they were shit. But you know what? I still did it for a month. Because... People don't necessarily care too much about quality, they care about substance. So, like, as long as what you're doing is pretty cool or epic, people might watch. Granted. The only streams I could do from that laptop were art. I couldn't do any gaming. And the only person that watched those streams were my one viewer, who doesn't follow my Twitch anymore. So, I think the biggest takeaway is don't put too much pressure on yourself to, like, have something fantastic right when you start. Because, like, truly, not many people probably will watch and not people will many people will give a shit. Like, they're not going to expect something amazing. Because I think out of all types of video creation online or content, people kind of expect slump. Because they understand that it's usually just one person doing it. So they'll be a bit kinder to you. But obviously don't do anything until you're ready. Once again, thank you, Mac, for the 24-month resub, a new Sakura badge in chat, a rare pink flower. Thank you for the two years, Mac. 
That's a long ass time though. Guys, I've been streaming for almost three years. Kim will bully them and chat if the people are mean to you. Slay. Once again, thank you to Kobobo for the 22-month resub. I appreciate your continued support. So close to a Sakura badge. Two months away. It'll be like a little summer treat. But thank you, Kobobo. <clears throat> now we can do the brokies. Use your channel points and I will write your name. Redeem now. We've had one person redeem, so this will go pretty quick. Any plans for Memorial Day? No. I was supposed to, like, cook with my friends this weekend. Like, we were, um, because one of my roommates, we had a, because the previous tenant left a grill in our backyard. So they pressure washed it and cleaned it. So we we're going to do that this weekend. But then it's raining. So there went our plans. Like, it's still raining right now. But otherwise, no, I don't have any plans. If I stream tomorrow, I'm not doing any plan stream because, like, I don't think it's, like, cool to, like, make fun of veterans. <laughs> like, I don't think there's any, like, parody stream I could do for Memorial Day. Because, you know, you don't, you don't mess with the vets. So it'll probably just be gaming. You work in the morning? Damn. Do I know how to grill? Grilling is easy. You just put shit on the grill and then you turn it. But no, I don't know how to, like, get the fire started. That part is scary. I don't like gas. I know when you cook with gas, like, on a stovetop, you get, like, a more accurate temperature. And consistent temperature, but, like, it's scary. But if I stream tomorrow, it'll either be... Um... It'll either be beating Lucia or or sorry, more Paper Mario. And I might be able to stream on Tuesday this week. And if I stream Tuesday, we'll do a short Mario Kart stream. Your mom is grilling right now. I know she is. Got him. Okay, this is our last name. Guys, last call. Pokemon.
Anybody else? Redeem now. Oh, e is Oh my god, Jerma's live? What is he doing? Hotsi's live. Do you guys want to watch some Destiny? Okay. It's rare that we see a Katsi stream. Katsi's playing Destiny. I think he's leveling up. He's trying to be a Giga Chad gamer. So, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out. I hope you guys had fun today. I hope you learned a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think we'll write you God see I feel weird anyway guys thank you for watching if you want something to watch right now new YouTube video click the link go watch it now I took chat on an island getaway watch it and if you aren't already make sure you're at least subscribed to the YouTube channel weekly stream highlights and daily clips on the daily clips on the clips channel if you want more slop I did so much talking today I hate my stutter. Anyway, I will see you guys when I see you. I hopefully will be able to stream tomorrow, if not Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll see. I wasn't even supposed to stream yesterday, but I did, so I'm tired. I don't know. I was watching, um, like, Jinxie and Queso's little podcast they did, and they vocalized it perfectly, like, because they both do shorter streams, and it's like, I mean, granted, they're both, like, really high energy, and it's like, it's very hard to maintain the same level of engagement and energy for a long period of time. That's why I still think doing shorter streams are better for me. Because that way, like, dude, I can't be, like, giggling and shit for eight hours. And also, like, I, I need time to edit because I, I don't have an editor. So, and I have seen more gradual views on the YouTube channel, which is good. That was the goal for this year. So, yeah. I appreciate your guys' patience. I stream when I can, but anytime that I do click a live, I'm glad that I have people who enjoy what I do. Okay. I'll see you all when I see you. Probably tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye, Mag. Okay, any final words? You have one minute. I'm just dancing? Hell yeah. I wish I could dance. Also, it's really funny because in my go live tweet, I said, let's see if my AP Spanish holds up after five plus years. I put five because I don't want to admit that it's been seven years since I've been out of high school. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy where I'm at. Okay, I'll see you guys when I see you.
Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your holiday if you're off today. If you're not, thank you for working on this blessed day. And give veterans discounts to everybody. I'm sorry. Do it.